Hello everybody. Welcome back. I'm Jan if you're new here. Today we're going to make us some homemade pizza pockets. I love pepperoni pizza and I love these buttery crescents and so that's what we're going to use. Uh, I think this is the large one but you can get the smaller one too. Just depends really on how many of these you want to make. You're going to want some mozzarella cheese. I just got a pack of the off-brand pepperoni. They taste just as good to me. And then you want either some pizza sauce or some marinara sauce. That's up to you. Uh, and I'll probably add a little bit of uh, Italian seasoning. We're not making too many of these, so I shouldn't need a lot of oh, cheese. I think that'll be plenty. There, that one. Just want to fold them out gently. And any of the little tears you see, <clears throat> which you will see a good bit of them. Push them together. Now forgive me, I was out in that pollen yesterday, and of course today <clears throat> my voice don't want to act right. Okay. going to mash all this spot over here that's supposed to be torn apart since obviously we don't want it to be torn apart but you definitely want to mash it to make sure it's uh, you want it square you know in square shape and wide enough so that when we close one end over um, that it will, you know, have something to seal to. Push this down so you can see. All right. So we're going to put a little bit of sauce. Kind of right in here. You don't want it too runny. And you want to leave some of the edge completely free of sauce. So you know, just right here in the middle. You don't have to cover the whole middle either. Just make sure you got some there. Okay, I think that's plenty. I'm, I don't like a lot of sauce on my pizza though, so. If you like more, go ahead and add more. <clears throat> just be very cognizant that uh, if you put too much, it's just going to shoot out the side, and your, you know, your pizza just may not stay. Your pocket may not stay shut. Really depends. All right. Found my Italian season Ooh, hiding from me, so we're going to put just a little. Top of our sauce, and uh, I like a little bit of a bit of crushed red flakes, not a lot. Okay, now one more thing I forgot to grab. I 
truly love is some garlic powder on mine. Garlic powder. Got to do it just like a pizza would be. And now y'all see why I shredded this cheese so small because I knew if I did it, you know, in normal size slivers, they, I don't know, I just didn't think it would melt right or even have enough time to melt. Because these are only going to bake uh, 13 to 15 minutes. It's gonna be perfect. Okay, now pepperoni. You can use any kind you like. You know, if you don't like regular, you can get turkey pepperoni too. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, make sure y'all watching this part. We're going to take the end here. And we're going to fold it right over. And if we have to stretch a little bit, we're going to stretch it a little bit. In fact, I might stretch it up here just a little bit. Before we get there. Because we got... I've... Feel like I left enough room up here, but I don't know if there's enough at the bottom. Oh, the whole thing is trying to tear on me. Come on now. Okay, yeah, one of these might end up not looking right, but I'm gonna eat it no matter what it looks like. So. Okay. I'm going to get a little, little bowl of uh, a bowl of water. And just push it down with the tines of your fork. I don't want your fork too wet, but just make sure it won't stick to the dough. That's, that's all we're interested in, is making sure that the seal One more thing, y'all. Mm Tell y'all I love garlic. So this is a uh, garlic spread, and I, I'm just gonna. This stuff is just kind of thick. I'm just gonna put a little bit right there on the top. And if I'm lucky, it will spread in both directions. Sure, I could just melt some of this and add it on when they come out of the fat. Okay, uh, again, 13 to 15 minutes. Here we go, y'all. I think that turned out perfectly. I'm really surprised that it didn't all shoot out the side. I, I tend to think that's because we didn't use so much uh, of the tomato sauce, of the, you know, the pizza sauce.
and I know these are very, very, very hot. Mm, 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 mm. Kind of delicious. All that melted cheese. Woo. Mm. I just truly love the flavor of these crescents, especially the butter ones. Yeah, I'm going to recommend you wait about 10 minutes. Because 5 didn't cool it off even a little. Mm. That is so good. Mm. And you know, you don't have to use the big ones like I did. You can use just the regular size crescents. I just got the bigger ones to try because I also usually use the small ones. This is fantastic. Get some of our little butter off the top. Mm. If you love pepperoni like I do, and love pizza pockets back in the day, this is, uh, personally I think it's cheaper, especially since you get at least four out of the big can, <clears throat> and they taste so much better. They're not hard, they're just as flaky, like this just peels right off. Mm. And you can do all kinds of stuff, you know. Put salami in there. You can put ham in there. Roast beef, whatever. And just fill it up with, uh, you know, meat and cheese. Mm. Real hot. That's amazing, though. Hands down amazing. Make you... Some homemade crescent pizza pockets. I promise you won't regret it. That is so good. Mm. Y'all give this a try. And um, I'll see y'all very soon. Thank you for being here.